We're taking another look at the 2024 recruiting class, and we're going to shine a spotlight on five-star wide receiver Ryan Williams, who's going to start his career with Alabama as a freshman this year. Big-time prospect. We're going to be looking at his highlights today, along with his 24-7 Sports player profile page. But before we dig in, you need to click that subscribe button right now. We're going hard in the paint, looking at the 2024 recruits before the college football season kicks off so you know what your freshmen look like before they start making plays with your team so you know a little bit of something about them. Click that button. Stop missing out. Today we're looking at Ryan Wims. Five-star prospect. Both the rankings and in the composite. Ranked as the third best wide receiver in the class in both sets of rankings. If you're here for just the highlights, just fast forward a few minutes, you'll get there. But he's six foot and a half, 165. Build-wise, he's compared to like a Devonta Smith. Play quality, he's compared to like a Devontae Smith. A little bit different, but that's what they're saying. 26 offers, college football wanted him. He also reclassified from 2025 to 2024. We don't have a senior year. So if we had another year, he'd have more offers, and he probably has more offers than what's listed. Alabama, Auburn, Colorado, Florida at the top here. Big-time programs, of course, five-star prospect who's very electric. Played in the Under Armour All-American game. He reminds everybody of Devonta Smith, as you see there. First round projection, big time prospect. He's not reclassifying to 2024. Going a year early if he does not feel good. We are very productive. Production is huge. is a huge indicator for prospects going from the high school level to the college level. It's saying that, hey, I'm dominant. I maxed out what I can do here. I'm ready to go to the college game. 165 pounds is what they're saying. Again, reminds them of Devonta Smith. With the way the game's played, it's a space game now. It's not that big of a deal. Chews up ground quickly with his speed and athleticism, good body control. He's very twitched up. He's a very versatile player. Good route running. You're going to see that on the tape. Multi-sport athlete. We're a track guy. We got some speed here. 10 4 9 100 we got speed to burn. We're also running in the 200s. So we got some gas in the tank. That's what that's telling me. Gatorade Player of the Year in 2023. And that's huge. That's huge. So during the timeline here, it was very interesting. I remember going over this with you guys. I think I did another video earlier. So he decommitted from Alabama. And during that time in January, it was like, where is he going to go? Where is he going to go? And he did some visits, recommitted with Alabama. And then he had a visit with Auburn. But we're enrolled with Alabama. We're with the Crimson Tide. That's something to note there. Looking at what we got here at on three, though, he's ranked number third in the class with them as well. Five star with everybody, with ESPN and Rivals. Number two with Rivals. Number two with ESPN. So they're hot for him, too. Top ten prospect if you average everything out. Five with the industry rankings, three with ESPN, four with rivals, eight with on three, top ten-ish. Alabama, Auburn, Texas, Tamu. We're seeing Georgia down here. Everybody's after him. You see Florida State down there as well. Everybody wanted him. Let's take a look at his highlights. Let's see what he's working with on the field here. I got eight minutes, so we're going to start off with his junior year. We're going to finish off with his sophomore year. It's all split in half, so if you're wondering... Once we get halfway through around the four-minute mark, we're going to be in a sophomore season. So we're watching him take this. We're going to see some of the speed. We ain't to the top end yet. We're going to get there. We may not get there because he already has it. He knows he has it. Next play. See how these hands look? It's a little blurry, though. I, I didn't see the catch because it was blurry, and it slowed it down. Good feet moving laterally very well. There we go. We got a little bit of the top end, not all the way there. But you're seeing pop in the step. Looking solid. Look at the DB inside shade there. He notices it. Bam! Sells the outside and the break. And it's all subtle. Route running's best. Not best. But route running can be very efficient if it's subtle sells. Good hands. Assertive. Quick assertive. Quick hands. I'm just trying to describe what I just saw there. He's got very quick assertive hands. <laughs> Another quick 
subtle sell there. Not overdoing it. Everything subtle and assertive with his cuts, breaks, his hands. That's one thing I'm noticing. We've covered his film before. This might even be the third time. We're doing a refresh before the college football season. As we did last year. And we're seeing that speed take over. You know a player's fast when they don't have to hit the top end. Because they know their speed. They know what they can do. They can just jet, jet it back up. Balance. He's got sweet feet. He's got sweet feet. That's what you saw in those cuts earlier. Good vision, good balance. That means route running just comes simple to him. Reads momentum well. And what I mean by that is the players around him. Times everything perfect. Look at the ball skills here. Good extension. Good extension. Let's see what we're going to do with the space. Turns outside. He's housing it. He's housing that. Not many players in the country would do that. This looks simple because he's doing it. Get up top. Subtle. Subtle. Very subtle sell. Like barely. Eyes looking out towards the corner. And just pops it off. Very subtle. It's the, the the more subtle, the more concealed your cell is. Actually, the more dangerous it is. He's got speed. He's got pop. And that 10.9100 is a big indicator. But I don't. I like. You'll see it on the field if you get enough plays, and you're seeing it. You're not going to see the 10.49 out of him on many because he's so ahead of guys that he just runs fast enough to get there. He's solid. I can see where it reminds people of Devonta Smith. I can definitely see that. Look at the feet. He's very twitched up. He's a very twitched up wide receiver. Downfield. Brings it in. Doesn't lose stride. Good concentration. Remember, he's a junior. And we're not getting a senior year. He's going to Alabama. He's enrolled. That's what the timeline said. And we're pulling away. Ball's coming his way. Feet going. Taking it to the other side. We going to house it here. Got blocks there. He's got it. He's got it. This is a big time prospect here. Outside shade, we're deep. He notices it. Subtle sell. Subtle sell. Looking good. Looking good. With the ball in our hands, look at him go. Look at him go. He is ahead of schedule, big time for his development, going to the college level. Easy, easy decision. I don't see what another year would really do for this guy. He's dominant. He's dominant. We're deep into his highlight tape, and he's still pulling off dominant highlights. That's another indicator. Like, again, out, no matter where he's at on the field, he's gone. He's gone. Very dominant player. He's maxed out what he can do at the high school game. He's just really risking himself playing high school ball now. Might as well just go. Yeah, look at the, look at the Jets there. He's got burst. He's thin. But that's all right. Tank Dell's thin. Devonta Smith's thin. It's a different game, especially when you get to the NFL. It's more of a space game. Here we go. We're going to the other side here. He's going. He was thinking about throwing it. Good feet. 
Good burst. Good confidence. See? See? We're deep. A lot of players, that'd be their first highlight. A lot of players, that'd be their first highlight. They'd be like, hey, this is what I can do. He's like, I'm just in there. I'm just going to do this all day long. That's him. That's him. That's a five star. That's what a five star should look like. Your highlights should be dominant. And if you're going to reclassify, you should be dominant. Like your highlight tape, if you're putting together your highlight tape and you're thinking about reclassifying, you shouldn't have to need to really organize your best highlights. It should be like this. It should be like, they're so good I can't pick. That's really how it should be. And that's how it is with him. That That is the standard. That's the standard I would think. If someone's a top tier prospect, they're reclassifying, it should be so dominant that you do not know where to put your highlights, how to organize them, because they're all dominant. Because we're deep. I don't how far. We're in the sophomore year. <laughs> He's just dominating the field out here. He's got speed to burn. He's nasty. Good luck trying to catch him. Good feet. Get into that end zone. We're in motion here. Ball comes his way. Good at contact. Again, that's high school level, but still. That's something you wanted to see. You got a little bit of look at that. That's a sophomore year. Back at the end zone making plays. Naturally gifted. Think about this. He's only two years removed from middle school when you're watching him do this. Doing all this against some older high school players. Older DBs. Here we go. Four years ago, he was in elementary school. And this clip. Think about it that way. Think about it that way. But when we're talking about him, when we're looking... At Ryan Williams here. We're looking at a player here with a ton of upside. His father played for Auburn. We got speed to burn. We know how to use our speed. We got burst. We're crafty. We can read the momentum of the players around us. Just like Devonta Smith does. Just like Devonta Smith. There is a lot of similarities. But I guarantee you as we get into the college game, there will be some differences. That's just how it is. But you got to make a comparison so people can get a viewpoint. The size, the Slim Reaper look is there. He might even fill out some more throughout his time there at Alabama, which he might, which he, he might decide to do that. And it probably won't impact his speed that much. He's very assertive at the catch point. He's very subtle with his routes. He can sell routes. He can break it off. His feet's so sweet that he can run a full route tree. His feet's so sweet. Like, he has no drift in his breaks, and if he does, it's limited. It might be due to the turf. He is so sweet with his feet. He's got good balance. He can cut it on different angles and just really get space whenever he wants when he's running in the open field. He's got tons of upside. I would not be surprised if he's a game breaker for Alabama early in his career this year, next year. I would not be surprised if he's one of the top wide receivers in the SEC. I would not be surprised if he ends up being a first-round draft pick. I would not be surprised at all. I would not. This guy's got tons of upside. Alabama better treat him right because they got a golden goose here. A very good wide receiver. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Be sure to hit that subscribe button on the way out. I want to thank you for watching. Catch you on the next video.